the mirror that there the mirror doesn't smile before you do the mirror doesn't smile before you do this is something that I've been thinking about a lot over the past week week and a half I was on YouTube and I was watching a video from Nero Knowledge. Shout out Nero Knowledge, man. Bro's out here just dropping facts and hard statements, man. And I love it. But I was watching this video and he just randomly dropped this quote. Said it without hesitation. And he meant it. He said it with conviction. And the way he said it just got me thinking. It got my gears grinding in my head. Y'all know that I'm really into mindset and having the correct perception of things. And just, yeah, just having a positive mindset, positive perception of things. And basically hearing that quote, it, it was so simple, but it was so deep because literally if you go stand in front of a mirror and you smile at it, it'll smile right back at you, right? If you look at it pissed, it's going to look pissed or your reflection in the mirror is going to look pissed. And basically what I got out of that was that the reality that you create for yourself is on you. And that's because of the fact that, at least I believe, whatever you think of yourself up here, whatever you think of others inside your mind, it's going to reflect on the outside world as well. So if you're out here thinking negative thoughts about people, negative thoughts about yourself, it's going to reflect on the outside. It's going to show. For example, how many of y'all have had a test they have to pass or just there's a bump in the road man that you just got to get over the thing is if you approach that bump in the road or that test with a negative mindset or a negative perception you're most likely not going to pass and get through or get over that bump right it all starts here in your mind man it really does everything starts in the mind let's say you're going to go out and you have to meet new people. Some people struggle with this. Some people struggle with this, meeting new people. And I firmly believe it's because of the fact that you've already put in your mind that this is gonna go bad, it's gonna be awkward. And if you make it an awkward process on the inside of your mind, it's most likely gonna happen in real life. Let's say like you're a guy trying to approach a girl, for example. A lot of guys can relate to this. If you go up to a chick with a losing mindset, like, it's all lost. By the time you get there, you've already lost the game, you know what I mean? So it's better to have that positive mindset. Always have that positive mindset, that positive perception of things in your head so that when you do exercise these things, and when they do come to fruition, you understand that it's because of what's going on up here. And even if you take an L sometimes, it's better that you take an L with a positive mindset because then your shoulders become relaxed. You don't have to necessarily take the L so personally, you know what I mean? This is something that I work on a lot with myself and that's changing my perception of things. Instead of going into it with a bad mindset or that I'm about to take an L, I look at I look at it from a positive perspective. I always try to take the positive out of things and um, and work with it. Because if I'm, let's say I'm about to meet someone new and I go up to him with a negative mindset and I'm closed off, he probably has the same perception of me. But if I go into it with an open mind, then things are gonna go a lot smoother. Basically what I'm trying to say is that the physical reality that you desire doesn't become your actual reality until you mentally and spiritually for some decide that that reality that you so desire is exactly what it's going to be so everything has to be done up here before it comes to fruition just like an idea if you have an idea you have to think about it then start making plans to execute that idea or that thought let's say for example that you want to get jacked that starts out as a thought in your head and then you start to get ideas and then you start to put those ideas into the physical world right you start to hit the gym you start to understand that there's probably some things that you can't eat anymore some things you got to give up 
because you can't bring those old habits from before into that new you that you're trying to create, right? Because that jacked you, he's, he or she is doing a lot of different things that that old you probably wasn't doing. No, let me not even say probably. That jacked you is doing things that that old you isn't doing. So in order for that mirror to smile back at you, you have to smile first. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.